This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Very good evening and welcome to News Tonight with me, Ashmit Kumar. Hi, I am Pir Mohamed. I am bringing you details of Tamil Nadu government's warning to film producers on the issue of Tamil titles. We will get you more on that in just a while. But first, let's take a look at the headlines. Brace for more power cuts as striking workers of Navy Lignite Corporation and a stubborn management fail to arrive at a compromise. English, English titles for Tamil films are taxing as ever. Government refuses any tax waiver for the Peters. Reason for life convict Kupam suicide still unknown while prisoners' rights forum suspect solitary confinement to be the reason. <laughs> Director General of Audit Telecom slams 2G auction, accuses Telecom Department of ignoring own guidelines in giving licenses. Chennai can boast of having organized many beach volleyball tournaments but no Indian participants to add glory. Let's also look at some other stories making national headlines. The game's village will be ready but I can't give a deadline, Delhi's Chief Minister Sheila Dixit says a week before the kickoff. It's not the organizing committee's job to clean up the athletes' flash, says Suresh Kalmadi. The Scots have a problem but Kalmadi says all is well. After 100 days, school reopened in Kashmir. Home Minister reaches out to parents and says no right-thinking person can target school buses. Amit reports that Sita Ram usually could lead uh, Kashmir interlocutors. Arun Jaitley uh, tells the NDTV political group should negotiate with the people. Now brace yourself for more power cuts as another round of talks between the workers and the management of Neveni Lignite Corporation has failed. This was the sixth round of talks that the management held with the striking workers who are demanding higher wages amongst other things. Unions are dissatisfied that the NLC management is not committing itself to the demands of workers. But the NLC DGM tells NDTV Hindu that there is an improvement in the talks and in principle, NLC management has agreed to their hike in wages. NLC DGM says the strike will be withdrawn in one or two days and there is some improvement. Now, Shabir Ahmed spoke to the Deputy General Manager of Navy Lignite Corporation. Here's what he had to say. The sixth round of talks between NLC management and the striking unions have just concluded and I am now joined by Perya Sami who is the DGM of NLC. Sir, thank you so much for talking to us. Sir, what happened in today's talk, sir? Today there is a progress. Improvement progress is there. Uh, we accept for increase in wages. That's all the progress. That unions okay. also very have, have, have the unions decided that they are going to withdraw their protest? Very soon. Very soon. Uh, very soon. They, it, it may happen in one or two days. Okay. So what about the power generation uh, and uh, is there any kind of disruption sir as we are getting no too many reports? No disruptions, fully oh, as on today, fully production is improved. Okay. There is no production loss as on today, as on today, today. Okay. So what kind of improvements sir in today's talks? Today, uh, the last uh, management, was management has, has agreed to, to increase in their wages, so some uh, other demands. We are some other demands we are considering that we will discuss the issue at the data date. Main issue is increase in wages. Right. Principally, management agreed to increase their wages. Right. Okay. That's quite clear. DGM of NLC telling us that uh, the management has agreed to agreed to increase the wages and uh, there is some improvement in the talks and the strike will come to an end in a day or two. With camera person Anand, Shabir Ahmed for NDTV Hindu. Well, Shabir also caught up with Srinivasan, a member of the CITU. In the Ganada, the page or the Sir the Munetra Maranda Nirwagatanode Yenatil Matra Maranda Lamboda, Adil Peria Munetra Mendo Solomodia. Poor Atam in Maluaka Adat Kutama Pokudi, Adataka Poratak, Titamit Nagala, Adat Poratate, the Viruber to the Kan, Adodi Kiladapo. Now that's the contradiction between the two parties, uh, but moving on. Tamil Nadu government today said the films with uh, non Tamil titles would not be given entertainment tax exemption. Several producers have the habit of using fancy bilingual and even colloquial Tamil terms for their movie titles. The government has said that the producers argue with them that they are Tamil titles in a bid to attain the entertainment tax waiver. 
The entertainment tax exemption to films with Tamil titles cost the state's exchequer nearly 100 crore rupees every year. The government even considered withdrawing the concession but allowed it after requests from various associations of Tamil film industry. Now, some of the controversial film titles that have been in the limelight with regard to the government's move are Boss A Baskaran, Va Quarter Cutting, Chiku Buku, Guru Shishya, Bale Pandya and Moscow Win Kaveri and Vande Mataram. Let's also take a look at some of the films that actually changed their names to get that tax waiver. The names include Robert, uh, Robot became Endiran, Something Something Unakum Enakum changed its name to Unakum Enakum and Emdan Magan changed its name to Yem Magan. Now, despite this move by the government, some members of the film industry responded positively to the decision. Badri Venkatesh, a film director who joined us in the studio, insisted that this was the perfect move to promote Tamil culture and language. I am totally with the government side. The government is quite right uh, in first giving the, if you call it SOAP, it's a SOAP. Uh, see, when a government tries to preserve a tiger, or when the government tries to preserve a national monument, right. all of us don't have any problem. When the government tries to preserve the much needed or the much important language, I don't know why should somebody have a debate on that at all. Now for more on this, we are joined by our senior correspondent, Peer Mohammed. Uh, now Peer, this is the decision that has come across from the government and we are seeing, as we saw with the visual, some sections supporting uh, the move by the government. So how do we read into the, this decision and the likely impact? Uh, yes, Ashmit, uh, the go it's a clear warning from the government after several film producers tried to you know, fool around you know, having titles uh, which are off English and uh, most of the titles like Vande Madaram, Jagubai and they said it's only a name and it, it is all uh, North Indian names. Uh, uh, even that uh, 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 se several film producers justified that it is all Tamil titles and uh, got the uh, uh, tax exemption. But the government has cl uh, clearly said today that you know they cannot avail tax exemption unless it is a pure Tamil title. Uh, Ashmit. Now, appeal to see this as as a part of say perhaps uh, an election strategy. Is this a move that perhaps one to have the favor uh, the film industry being favorably disposed and two. To actually have uh, to pay to, uh, to again uh, uh, align with the Tamil cause of perhaps uh, promoting the culture. You think this is a, a maybe a, a, a double, uh, maybe uh, two targets uh, trying to catch in one attack? Uh, yes, Ashmit. Uh, as you know, Tamil film industry is closely associated with its uh, politics, and we have uh, uh, two, two chief ministers directly from the film industry, actors turning into chief ministers. Also, the uh, present chief minister is also closely associated with the film industry as a script writer. And when the, his government was formed in 2006 with uh, 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 no, uh, uh, just 96 MLAs, short of majority, you know, he wanted to woo the film industry. That is why he announced SOFs for the industry, which uh, includes a tax exemption, entertainment tax exemption for the film industry, when the film industry was in a really bad shape. And uh, in fact, uh, because it cost exchequer uh, nearly 100 crores they wanted to withdraw it in 2009-10 budget they in fact announced that they are going to withdraw it but does uh, repeated appeals from the industry made the uh, concession stay and now the uh, government has warned again that unless they stick to the f pure Tamil titles they cannot avail this uh, tax concession. Ashmi. Uh, right P. thank you for joining us and again giving us some perspective on the decision and again uh, the impact that it is likely to have uh, political and both uh, financial. Moving ahead. The death of 50-year-old life convict in high-security Pural Jail has now snowballed into a major controversy in the state. Human rights activists have raised several questions that remain unanswered by the jail authorities. Now, in yet another shocker, Prisoners uh, Rights Forum has alleged that Kupam was kept in solitary confinement and have demanded a judicial probe. Mystery shrouds the death of 50-year-old Kupan, a life convict who hung himself inside the Pural prison. Now, human rights activists are up in arms stepping up the heat for a judicial probe into Kupan's death. Solitary 
நீதி விசாரணைக்கு உத்தரவிட கோரி நாங்கள் உயர் நீதிமன்றத்தை அணுக இருக்கிறோம் Prisons department officials say that they have received a detailed report from the superintendent of Pulal prison and have also denied the allegations that Kuppan was kept in solitary confinement. Both possibilities though raise a stink on the mental health of some of the prisoners. Lack of counselling and repeated provocation by jail authorities is said to be common inside this prison. பிறவி அப்படிங்கிறது வந்து இன்னைக்கு வந்து அதிகாரிகளோட ஒரு தனிப்பட்ட ஒரு ராஜ்யமாக தான் அது இருக்குது அதில் வந்து உள்ள நடக்கிறதுக்கான ஒரு வெளிப்படைத்தன்மை ஒரு டிரான்ஸ்பரன்சி இல்லாமல் தான் இருக்குது இதில் வந்து சமூக ஆர்வலர்கள் மனித உரிமை ஆர்வலர்கள் உளவியல் நிபுணர்கள் இவங்களெல்லாம் கொண்ட ஒரு குழு அமைத்து சிறை நிர்வாகம் எப்படி நடக்குது அப்படிங்கிறத வந்து ஒரு ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட் இன்டர்வல்ஸில் அதை வந்து மானிட்டர் பண்ணுறதுக்கும் திஸ் கம்ஸ் லெஸ் தென் இயர் ஆஃப்டர் கேங்ஸ்டர் வெல்டிங் குமார்ஸ் ப்ரூட்டல் மர்டர் இன் சைட் புருல் பிரசன்ட் It seems incarceration for violating the law is the first punishment for men like Kuppan. The real battle for survival though begins inside these high walls and solitary cells. With Shabir Ahmed, this is Sai Manish for NDTV Hindu. Now a man commits suicide at his workplace in broad daylight but what does the employer have to say about this? More on that on the other side.